Where's my chicken wings, nigga? Hello, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton. I am your humble narrator. And welcome to It Came From Space and Ate Our Brains. Initially, this was a co op review with Clay and Tosh. Unfortunately, my video data went missing, or perhaps was never recorded in the first place. Hold the line. Does anybody want to take it anymore? Show my scorn. It came from space and ate our brains. And uh, oh, yeah. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the gameplay, and then Play and Tosh is gonna talk about the aesthetic and then we'll smash our faces together and meld our minds and come up with a final score and hopefully you guys will agree with it but again this is just our opinion so don't take anything too seriously <clears throat> oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> so for the the controls i've given it a seven out of ten it feels pretty tight although um your gun is held slightly off to the right so it's not completely lined up and that is a bit of a pet peeve of mine, a uh, good reason why I don't play Binding of Isaac. I just want a gun that shoots straight. Please understand me. 7 out of 10. For the fun factor, I've given it a 6 out of 10. It is a pretty fun game, uh, but it does get extremely monotonous pretty quickly. Uh, yeah, that's... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'd like to... That sucks. <laughs> it, it does, yeah. <laughs> to be to be frank, I mean, it, it's still passable with a 6 out of 10. But the score could be greatly improved with the addition of some new weapons, or at least some abilities, something to yeah. to spice up the gameplay. Maybe maybe even new game modes like capture the flag and, and stuff, you know. Oh yeah, the fucking possibilities are endless. So yeah. I'd li I'd really like to see it expanded upon for sure. The uh, difficulty I've given a seven out of ten. It's rather decent on insane mode. Uh, however, it's not. Not particularly a test of skill. I guess it is. Are you good at kiting or not? But really, it's <laughs> it's an endurance test more than anything. So I yeah. I give the 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 <laughs> I give the difficulty <laughs> a seven out of ten. <laughs> For the replayability, I've decided to give it a five out of ten. It seems replayable um, at a baseline level, but without abilities or levels or upgrades uh, I mean there are levels to the guns but that's it and it's really not enough to carry it in as something that would uh, stick in my steam library for an extended period of time yeah the innovation I gave a 6 out of 10 it's a twin stick shooter uh, uh, killing aliens it's about as generic as you get the, the reason that I gave it points for innovation is just uh, basically because of the art style and I really like um, a lot of the guns that are in the game. Uh, the plasma cannon is pretty cool, the laser beam, even the pistol upgrades in the something is pretty decent. So while it doesn't uh, satisfy all of my expectations, it's, it's fairly innovative, I suppose. So I will give it a 6 out of 10. Oh, yeah. And now I'm gonna throw it over to Plant Hush for the aesthetic, yo! Awesome! <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I'm gonna sit down just in case, because it's like 2 a.m. right now, so if I'm gonna just say some deep, weird crap, don't <laughs> mind me, I am tired and <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> but I written it down with a pink, pink pen, so that counts. <laughs> it fits with the theme. Oh, yeah. So, I'm gonna talk about a the graphics a little. Uh, the graphics are probably, I would say, one of the main selling points of this game as of right now. Uh, the the aesthetic is is just it's awesome to be honest. It looks really nice. It's it's really well balanced in terms of color combination and stuff. And the overall overall design of the game is just nice. It's it, there's contrast everywhere and it just it's pretty to look at. It's beautiful. So, so I'm beautiful. giving that. <laughs> I'm giving that 9 out of 10. That's probably the highest score. No, it's not. I got one more. The same. <laughs> the next on next on stop is uh, music. There's some um, kind of a like drum and bass tune here and there. I I noticed and uh, also some ambient ambient stuff. But 
it's it's not that much standing out. It's kind of generic, so I'm just giving that 7 out of 10. It's just that I didn't, I didn't really hear any music that would just strike my mind. I would maybe welcome some, some really catchy tune during the fights or something. That would really pull me in and and just show me, hey, you're in combat, fucking fucking do your best, what whatever you can to survive, and here's a really good drum and bass song that you can just fucking follow your follow your brain with. <laughs> yeah, something more crunchy that you could like rock out to. While yeah, you're something that's gonna like pump up your heart so you really like get into it. Yeah, I think I think the game loses like a lot of its speed or gripping yeah. feel because it doesn't have the music behind it. That would definitely help it. Yep. And uh, next stop is sound effects. That's actually, I'm giving that 9 out of 10. And the reason behind is that I think there were some really good choices behind sound effects. I think like every every action in this game has some sound effect. And it's really recognizable and good. I think the game is fucking loud. But <laughs> but it's good. It's it's okay. Like I, I can totally live with that. And... Uh, there, there were like frog sounds, uh, every box has its own sound and stuff. So I think it's it's pretty good, 9 out of 10. And for the story... <laughs> what <That's>, story? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what story, exactly. Like, there's, there's no story, if you expect a story in this game then, then you're gonna be disappointed. Uh, the, the main story is in the name, they, they came from space and ate our brains. <laughs> That's the only story you're getting, and you're gonna have to stick with that. So I'm giving story a two out of ten, just for the fact that it's a catchy name, it's it's funny, and and that's all basically. <laughs> and lastly, I've got level design, which I am awarding a four out of ten score because I am a little disappointed with this one. Uh, the levels they feel kind of samey. Uh, maybe it's because of the aesthetics of the game, of, of the grayness of the environment, but I can't really tell for sure. But uh, we played four levels, I think. Three levels in multiplayer and we tried out one level single player. And they all felt kind of samey, kind of not, not so interesting. Yeah, You, you get can... the hang of them really quick and uh, it's, it's kind of... Boring. I don't know. Yeah, you can tell like you're in a shipyard or on a dock or yeah. something, but the the colors not behind it, the shadows are too much. I think and kind of mutes uh, any yeah. indiv individuality that the levels might be able to have. So yeah, I can't completely agree with uh, their choice there, but I think four out of ten is a pretty fair score. Yep. So that's that's all my ratings. Cool. Or... I'll do some tabulating. So, friends, it came from space and ate our brains. Plantosh and I have gone over the the numbers multiple times, and we've been sitting here literally for hours just debating over what score that we might be able to. I'm so tired, man. I know. I got, <laughs> I'm sorry for keeping you up until 4 a.m., but this is just so important. Um, so we both awarded. It came from space and ate our brains. 31 points from each of our side. It's melded together. That is 62 out of 100 points. For it came from space and ate our brains. Oh, yeah. It's uh, above average. I will say that. Although it doesn't uh, stride ahead of its competition. It's sort of a generic twin stick. And has a really nice aesthetic. And that's sort of what saves it in the end. Oh, yeah. So, any last words, Plantosh? I'm just gonna say that if you've been impressed by the gameplay and, and the aesthetics, definitely get the game. I think it's it's worth it for what it's now. The price is just 10 euros or 10 bucks, uh, whatever your region is. And uh, for that, you're getting a pretty decent game. And it appears that there will be weekly updates and additions, and there's even like a future wish list on the forums. So. I think it's gonna get a lot better, or at least I would hope so. So, I, I don't see why you shouldn't get this game. Yeah, the devs are obviously really involved. They, they love their game a lot, and it does shine through. Um, they reached out to me to do some, some promotion for it with indie game bundles, and I gladly obliged, not only because I like the look of the game, but just 
for the fact that the dev would reach out to a YouTuber with only 300 subscribers and go, hey, do yeah. you want to do this? I'll, I'll give you 50 keys to give away. Oh, the 50 <laughs> key giveaway is also on Indie Game Bundles, uh, run by Indie Game Bundles and Raffle Copter, so thank you to both of them. <sighs> I've been Brandon Dayton, oh, yeah. your humble narrator. Mr. Plantosh has so graciously obliged me with his aesthetic skills. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my chicken wings, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> if you enjoyed this episode, I hope that you will like, comment, and or subscribe. And I hope to see Do you it. guys Do it. in the next one. <laughs> Until then, friends. <laughs> Bye-bye! Oh, yeah! One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you my friend